My name is Johan Falk. I'm a math and physics teacher in Stockholm, Sweden. And this is another video talking about spreadsheet actions, a way to make your work as a teacher simpler and easier and quicker and in general nicer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change settings or options in plugins before running them, because we have here spreadsheet actions menu and I am now ready to almost ready to send emails uh, to my student based on document template. But before doing that, I want to change my settings in the, the email so I can change what template to use and what subject to use when sending emails. So to do this, you'll need to open the code for the plugin. This is because Google has broken down their uh, builder for user interface so um, moved everything into code. Sorry about that, but it might be useful. It might even uh, make you learn to code eventually, and that would be fun. You get to the code by clicking Tools and Script Editor. Or if you, like me, have this open, oh, let's click here actually. Well, if you have this open already, you can just switch to that tab and you will get this. In the left hand menu here, you have a list of files and we can see Mail from Template. That is the plugin I want to use. So I'm going to click on this one and look at the code. At the top of this plugin code, we have some options to set. Uh, and it says here, this plugin uses options from the other plugins. The basics plugin uses Google ID. Let's look at that in just a bit. Down here, we have three options. This plugin has three options. One is called template ID, and this is a long string of letters and numbers. Uh, that is the uh, ID for the Google document to use as a uh, template email, email template. I'm going to have a look at this soon. Uh, a subject called feedback from test. We'll pretend that I just had a test and I want to email the results to my students. And then we have a, a row selected for a sample email. Before sending out, would like to see a sample to, to make sure that the email looks the way I want. Okay, this template ID. Let's go to Google Drive actually. Drive.google.com. And this is a bit uh, tricky and uh, well, boring, but I'm going to show you how to do this. If I create a document, Google document, I can now use this as a template for my emails. Hello, student. Uh, this is the result of your test test and then I'm going to put something here uh, you need to practice on and something here kind regards you want to fuck your teacher there we are okay and I get all these red squiggly lines because uh, Google Drive expects me to write in Swedish right now that's life. Okay, before continuing here, I'm just going to show, well, I'm going to show you the ID of this document. Let's call it feedback test feedback because Google will ask me to give a name to this soon. Okay, in the URL up here, you see uh, um, things separated by slashes. And one of these parts is the document ID. This is the one here. I'm going to Select that, double click to select, that's easiest, and then copy. I'm going back to my settings of the plugin and I'm gonna paste. Uh, there we are. Paste. Okay, and save. And save, that's important. Okay, and before continuing, I'm gonna use uh, replacement patterns in this uh, feedback, this um, email template. Instead of saying hello student, I'm going to say hello percent to percent. That means that um, when sending emails, this percent to will be replaced by the thing found in the second column. We have numbers here to easier find the right column. So hello John Doe. This is the result of your test. Now let's add some test results. Test result uh, 5 of 10. Practice on everything. Okay, kind of meaningless feedback, but 
let's use this one now. So this is column four and five. I can now use, this is the result of your test. Column uh, percent four percent. You need to practice on percent five percent. Kind regards, you know, about your teacher. Great. Almost done. We have now the template ID identified here. Good. I have in the template an email message to send. Nice. Uh, I have a subject set for the emails to send and I have even a sample row set so I can look at the sample of this email before sending it. It says here that it also uses options from other plugins, namely the basic uh, plugin. Let's look at that. It uses Google ID, it says. And here in the basics plugin we have some other options. One of them is called Google ID columns and it's set to three. So I could here Yes, it's using three here. Good. Uh, uh, Gmail address uh, is in column three, so that's fine. Now I can send the email if I like. I could preview first by uh, look at the document template actions. Now I will get subject here, feedback from test. Hello, John Doe. This is the result of your test, five out of ten. You need to practice on everything. Kind regards. When I think this looks good, I can do a bulk action and send to everyone. Now, John Doe isn't checked for sending it, so I can put a one here and he'll get an email. Let's actually try that. Dun, 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 dun. Done. So, John Doe has got an email from me. That's it. Um, wow. So, what's the point of this video? Looking at how to change settings. You go into the code, open up the um, and the plugin file and you change the options here. Every option has some kind of comment explaining what it does, kind of. And eventually you'll also find uh, readme files over at uh, uh, GitHub and the code uh, download place. Um, Alright, hope that's uh, helpful. See you some other time. Goodbye.